Here we will learn the innervation of the upper extremity. In part one we will draw the brachial plexus and in part two we will learn the major terminal nerves, radial, median, and ulnar. To draw the brachial plexus, first draw three horizontal lines. Label them from top to bottom as the upper, middle, and lower trunks. Next, let's draw the nerve roots that form the brachial plexus, typically C5 to T1. Indicate that C7 makes up the middle trunk, that C5 and 6 form the upper trunk, and that C8 and T1 form the lower trunk. Next, label the cords, lateral, posterior, and medial. Now show the major terminal nerves. The posterior cord derives the radial nerve, the lateral and medial cords send branches to form the median nerve, and the medial cord forms the ulnar nerve. Next, show that the C5 to C7 nerve roots supply the lateral cord, C5 to C8 supply the posterior cord, and C8 to T1 supply the medial cord. This occurs because the trunks form anterior and posterior divisions that supply the cords. However, we excluded the divisions from our diagram for simplicity. Next, just distal to the lateral cord, label the musculocutaneous nerve and show that it most notably innervates biceps brachii, C5, C6, which is an important elbow flexor. Now show that C5, C6, and C7 derive the long thoracic nerve and indicate that it innervates the serratus anterior, which pulls the scapula forward. Next, show that the suprascapular nerve originates from the upper trunk and indicate that one of the major muscles it innervates is the supraspinatus muscle, C5, C6, which is responsible for the first 20 to 30 degrees of arm abduction. Then draw the axillary nerve off the posterior cord and show that it most notably innervates the deltoid muscle, C5, C6, which is responsible for the latter 70 to 80 degrees of arm abduction. This concludes part one of our diagram.